can you fill it with regular, please? Cool, thanks, dude. You too. Waiting for Perry. I was just in the grocery store getting some ingredients for dinner tonight and I found something that caught my eye that sounds really interesting. Candied steelhead trout. Check this out. It almost, it almost smells like a beef jerky or something. Um, the guy at the counter, at the seafood counter, was raving that it's really good so I'm kind of excited. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. It pretty much just tastes like slightly sweetened trout trout jerky, and it's it's really good. Mm. Mm. My gosh, the more I ate of that, the more I realized it is delicious. If you guys ever see candied steelhead trout, definitely give it a shot because that was like phenomenal. I wish I would've got more. I also got some sushi because I'm really hungry, but I didn't get chopsticks. Oh well. I just want to give you guys a bit of a heads up that the video might feel a little bit different than usual filmmaking wise and the reason is that I thought I left my tripod in my truck from the last time I went out filming but apparently I didn't because I don't have my tripod with me and so I do have a couple tripods for my phone and my GoPro that I'll try to utilize but I don't have the main one and so the video might feel a little bit different but don't worry it's still going to be a good time. Stay.
Okay, I did a very bad job at making those because I was rushing to beat the sunlight from going away. And also, uh, I was trying to cut it on the floor, but it was like super slippery. And yeah, these are, these are definitely temporary. I'll come back and make better ones in the future when I'm doing a more complete build. This was just to provide some kind of sense of security and privacy for tonight. So unfortunately, this cot is just slightly too long to fit into the bed of my truck with the tailgate closing completely. So right now I just have this kind of resting on the tailgate. And then this doesn't, that doesn't fully close. So looks like this, this isn't really gonna work out, but tonight it'll, tonight it'll have to do because I don't have any other option and we're just gonna have to make it work for the time being and then reassess and do an actual build in the truck bed. Oh well, check out the sky over here. It's a freaking gorgeous night. As you can see, it is a gorgeous night out here on the mountain, and it was a great night. It's, oh my gosh, it's so, <laughs> it's so icy. Ho, 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 I keep slipping around. Okay, before we finish getting set up, let's just hear a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. These are all products from Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a free to join monthly membership club delivering boxes of assorted top shelf goods from under the radar brands. 90% of the products in the boxes come from small businesses, many of which are based right here in the United States. It's really quite simple. You just go online onto their website, fill out a preference quiz, and each month Bespoke Post will introduce you to cool new products according to those preferences. From outdoor gear to barware, kitchen and home goods, Bespoke Post truly has has a large variety to suit everyone's needs. Each box has a retail value of roughly $70, but as a member, you pay only a fraction of that cost. Another really cool part about Bespoke Post is that you actually get to preview the boxes. Once you preview it, you could either decide to keep it, swap it for one of the other boxes, or just skip that month altogether. So that way you're only paying for the products that you really want. Bespoke sent me three boxes so I could test some of the products for myself. The first box is the Switchback. In the switchback, we've got a folding portable shovel. A fixed blade knife. A military compass. Fire starter. And this cool hanging light with a magnetic lanyard. The next box is the Terra. In the Terra, you get this field knife with a cool sheath a detox scrub soap bar, and a bird call. Last but not least, my favorite box, Swing. In the Swing box, you get this hatchet and a really cool wallet-sized Tinder scraper. Although all of the products that I received are very high quality and will definitely come in handy, my favorite so far have definitely been the hatchet and the fixed blade knife. Now these just permanently live in my truck now. That way, whenever I'm camping or doing anything outdoors, 
I have easy, quick access to them. To get 20% off of your first box, click on the link in the description box down below and use code YENCH20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash YENCH20. Okay, back to the video. I do want to note that this is an aluminum canopy, truck camper shell, topper, whatever you want to call it. It's aluminum and it's not insulated. So it's going to be cold in here tonight and there's probably going to be quite a bit of condensation. This is a very last minute trip and I haven't had a chance to build out this topper at all yet, but that will be coming up very soon, hopefully. That's actually why I'm going to be using this zero degree sleeping bag, although it's not going to be really anywhere close to zero degrees, I don't think. Uh, since this is not insulated, I figured that I better use my warming sleep, my warmer sleeping bag just in case. Just a little kosher salt. Oh man, uh, that was really hard to film. I haven't, 
I haven't filmed me cooking on the tailgate in quite a while. And the fact that I don't have a tripod and that my truck is completely not set up at all just made everything a hundred times harder. So I tried to get as much footage as possible. Uh, hopefully it turned out okay. What I made was some garlic butter shrimp pasta, angel hair pasta, and it looks and smells so good. I don't know. I'm not sure. I was filming on my GoPro mainly, you know, my phone a little bit. So I don't know how well the footage is going to turn out, but we'll see. We made it work and it looks delicious. So that's all that matters. Oh my. That, that is so good. That was a big meal. I don't think I've ever actually spent the night on a cot, ever, in my in my entire life. This is the first, I guess. Oh, I kind of like it so far. All right, well, that's it for me tonight. Buenas noches.
Good morning. Alright guys, and that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys like always for watching. I'm sure that the video felt a lot different than my normal videos because I forgot my tripod like I mentioned. So the filmmaking was all over the place. I was using my phone, my GoPro, this camera. Uh, hopefully it was still enjoyable to watch. You guys go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life. Beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.